Hi and welcome to this quick tip and this time it should really be a quick tip and not a 10 minute video. And this is a rather reoccurring theme that I've been asked how to do labels in Cinema 4D. And of course I've already prepared something so let's jump into the node editor of our label material and get an image texture going and load the image. And of course this goes into the diffuse. And then we need an alpha. If the alpha is not inside of the material, then we need to load an extra alpha. And I would recommend loading an extra alpha because it's sometimes better as it avoids problems. So let's load the alpha here. And when loading black and white textures, you want to keep the type to float because that way you save on memory on the graphics card because it's not loading the RGB image, but just a grayscale image. And this obviously comes to opacity. Then what you also could do to avoid problems is to go and check the border mode to black. So there's nothing outside here. So when it comes to tiling, there's no tiling going on. All right. So that's all we need to do for that material. Let's assign it to our object. Now this is a small word of caution. This is only working if you're not using a mix or a blend material underneath. So this is only working with stacking if you don't use a blend or mix material. Now let's go ahead and you can see that we now have the logo stacked onto our other texture. Now this is not what we want. We want a small decal somewhere. So let's go into the texture mode in Cinema 4D select the object and select the texture in question or the shader in question and then just go to flat shading and this is giving us one decal here we can see it's tiling here so we need to turn off the tiling inside of cinema 4d now this is great but um, if i try to move this this is somehow doing weird stuff so you have to turn on the axis mode to get the whole texture moving. Now let's project that to our surface here so it looks kind of nice and not distorted like this. So we need to angle it down and it's about 45 degrees I guess. Uh, it's about 40 degrees. So you can see that this works quite fine now but the problem is that we have our logo on top now because it's projected through the geometry like this and therefore we have it now on this side and on the surface we actually want it on so to avoid that we and already done that before you need to use a selection text so i um, prepared that before so just select an area where where the decal is on make it a selection by going here and set selection and then set the selection for the label and therefore you restrict the label to the position you actually want it and you now have a working label that is sticking to the place where we want it and everything's fine so I got a little bit more than two minutes, but I hope it's fine. It's still a quick tip. Thanks for watching.